Good morning, guys. It is Thursday. Oh my gosh. It is the beginning of the weekend. And I don't know what I'm going to do this weekend because it's supposed to be 98 degrees. So, 98 degrees say either go to the beach or stay in the house under the AC. So, that's my choices pretty much. But it's a beautiful day. Look at all the sun. Uh, it's like 70 degrees right here, right now. And it's almost 8 30 in the morning. I don't think I'm loving my hair. I think I'm gonna keep it in like this for a while. My daughter did a wonderful job with my hair. Wish I could do an outfit of the day, but I'm always sitting in the car on the way to work. I just don't have time when I get to work because I'm so busy. But yeah, it's a beautiful day and I am feeling marvelous. I finally feel great. Uh, and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I've been get, going through some emotional, toxic BS. And I am over it because I was willing to release it. And, you know, I prayed to God that, to help me get through it. He gave me strength. I plead the blood of Jesus on it. And he was like, you know what? I'm with you. And I said, okay, give me strength. Every time I, I falter or start reversing, re rewinding and rehearsing this situation, please take my mind off of it and he did and I no longer hold on to it it feels so good to get past a period in your life that was basically nothing you can do about it and wasting your time hindering you from seeing the future or from living your now and I got so much to be thankful for my angels are on it this morning I feel them to my left and right. I feel them in front of me and back of me. I feel them on top of me and behind and and beneath me because they carry me through this. Y'all, they carry me. When you feel the presence of your angels, oh my goodness. You know what? Nobody can steal your joy. You give it away. I do not relinquish it. It's my joy. So, if you guys are going through something, understand it. It's... it's is you're going through it for a reason. You just have to recognize the reason and get the lesson and release it. That, I mean, honestly, that's the only thing you can do. And also, a lot of times, a setback really isn't a setback. It's more of a reconstruction period in your life. The emotional state of mind that you're in under that reconstruction, it, it can be very painful. But understand, it's all going to turn off for your good. It is Friday. It's gonna be like 98 degrees this weekend. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But it is Friday, guys. Yay! We made it through the week. Thank you, Jesus. We made it through the week. I'm on my way to work. Y'all know when I say it's Friday morning, Thursday morning, Wednesday morning, Tuesday mon morning, Monday morning, I am on my way to work. And guess what? It is Friday. Yes. Another older couple over there. Walking early in the morning. I guess this is a good time because it's like 70 something degrees. And it is 8.37. Friday, y'all. We made it. We made it. Alright, I'm on my way to work. I'm feeling good. I hope you guys are feeling good too. You know, and if you're not, reach out and talk to your angels. Ask them to help you through whatever you're going through. They'll lead you, guide you to the light. Which is the understanding of why you're going through what you're going through. Because there's a life lesson there somewhere. Or there's a release. Or Don't look at a setback as a setback. Look at it as a reset. For something that you need to somewhere you need to be in your life that you haven't quite achieved so now you're going to go through some reconstruction get reset on the right track the right path and your right journey so don't look at your setback as something negative because sometimes and a lot of times it could be for your greater good man let me tell y'all let's talk about my six r's Six hours, y'all. You know, 
when you go through troubles, you rewind, rehearse, and replay. Remember, I talked about that the other day. Rewind, rehearse, and replay. Because I was willing to let go of the rewind, rehearse, replay mindset, I got to the relaxation, release, and realization that my life is great. The relax, release, and the realization that my life is great. Come on, y'all. Come on with me. Do y'all hear me? Wait, my personal life is going awesome. It really is it's going awesome. I am loving me, understanding me, and enjoying me. So, what more can you ask for? I'm not perfect, y'all. Don't get me. Don't get it twisted. I'm not perfect at all. I still have this person in me that at one point in time was trying to resurrect herself and she's not a nice person and me and her stayed in battle for a minute like i was telling her heifer come on now you gotta calm down she was like girl no you taking through things too calm what is your problem i was like girl we can't handle it like this we gotta we gotta have some dignity and tact and class about us she was like uh-uh bitch uh-uh no 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 dignity and class will come later after we kick some ass she was like, people don't get to act like this with us and we just sit here and take this bullshit. I was like, girl, no, but we can't do that because that's not gonna be conducive to the lifestyle that we're trying to have and lead and project. And you know, we wanna be, we wanna emulate a lady, a classy lady. She was like, bitch, hold up. See, you doing too much. Let me cuss these people the hell out and then you can get back to who you want to be. But right now, these bitches need to be cussed out because this shit ain't right. And I was like, girl, no, uh -uh, we're not going to handle it. Like, we're going to be classy about this. She was like, you know what? Bitch, I'm sick of you and your class. I'm tired of you trying to have some class. Bitch, every now and then, a bitch just need to get hood. See, people don't understand you unless you just go there with them. They went there with you, bitch. Go there with them. I was like, no, girl, we can't do that. No, we a lady. We a lady. We. I want. I don't want to be that. I don't want. No, half of. No. See, uh, uh. I don't care what you want to be. This is not about you right now. This is about us. This is about how they handling us. And see, I'm tired of this classy bullshit you trying to portray. You not look. Bitch, hold up. See, I need you to revisit when we had this shit down locked. When everybody knew. You is not who they want to mess with. Now see people coming for you because now you're trying to portray this class bullshit. This ain't working. These people getting outrageous. They going there with you because they know you're trying to have some class intact about you. And they you're not really ready to go back at them like they willing to come for you. No, bitch. No. No. Let me handle this. And then I'll let you step up. I was like. I was like, girl, I need you to calm down. Let's sit down and think about this, how we can handle this together. She was like, we? How we gonna handle this together? I said, yes, we. She said, you promise it's gonna be a we? I said, girl, it's gonna be a we. This is gonna be a we, me and you together. She was like, all right. Renee will back off. Desiree, I'm gonna let you handle this, but if I see them coming for you again, bump what you heard, cancel, that contract of class that you trying to sign and, and emulate and you want to incorporate I'm stepping up and we're going to let them know what it is I say you know what I know you got my back but I just need you to fall back for right now and she did y'all know y'all have to have them hard conversations with yourself sometime and whoo my other half is a straight bitch yes she is honey yes she is that's the calm, that's the battle i was fighting with me guess who won child please class dignity and respect class dignity and self-respect can i talk about it now i can tell this helper you can kind of stir up a little bit because they need to know that class don't mean that i won't have some sass all right, let me take my sassy classy ass to work. I'll talk to y'all later.